New tougher limits for drug driving will come in force tomorrow across England and Wales. Uh, the legislation also includes revised rules on eight prescribed medications. Yeah, so could the new law lead to those who take perfectly legal drugs for things like sleeping problems or anxiety be penalised? Joining us is Jeanette Miller, who is from the Association of Motor Offence Lawyers. And Jeanette, so it's new territory this, really, isn't it? I mean, potentially it could have a huge impact. It, it could. It's one of the biggest shake-ups in motoring law in um, my career, at least. And, and I think there's going to be a lot of people out there unaware of how things are going to be changing. Um, it clearly is needed. There is a need to change the laws in relation to drug driving, but I'm not sure that the, the extreme measures that are being brought in are going to be um, appropriate for, for all motorists. Give us an idea. Um, how many prosecutions do you think fall because they don't have these tests at the moment? Well, I'm not sure about the number that fall, but I know that there's a massive difference between the number of people arrested in the first place, and I think that a lot of that is due to how onerous the procedures are on the police. So, to give you an example, between 2009 and 10, there were around 225,000 arrests for drink driving. In the same year, the number of arrests reported for the equivalent of drug driving, it's driving whilst unfit through drugs, was less than 500, not 5,000, 500, yes. That's so I, I think there was definitely a need for the law to be changed to make it easier for the police to apprehend suspected motorists that, that, that were under the influence of drugs. But the, they have brought in very extreme measures with a, an almost zero tolerance approach to a number of substances. And I think that's going to criminalise a lot of otherwise law abiding motorists. So how's it going to work then? Mm -hmm. um, I think it was last summer actually I went out with Greater Manchester Police and they were trialling something called um, a drug yes. something similar to that anyway, um, where they, they took a swab of people's saliva. So is that what's going to happen now? That's everywhere? one of the big changes, yes. The drug is being introduced, but that actually only detects two substances of cocaine and cannabis. And there are eight illegal substances that are being outlawed by the legislation. So they will still have to conduct field impairment tests, so the things where you see people having to touch their nose, walk in a straight line, that will still be required and that's one of the big issues that I think that have, mm. have led to so few arrests taking place before. But the drug elizer is expected to um, increase the number of arrests. That's just going to be a trigger though, that's not going to be the way that they detect the substance in the motorist system. It will enable them to take them back to a police station where a blood and sometimes urine test can be conducted and it's that test that will be used in evidence mm. against the motorist. It, I mean, it's interesting, I'm just reading that you could even get caught out through passive smoking of cannabis. I, I mean, that's, that's quite obvious, isn't it? Cannabis, cocaine, the hard drugs, you shouldn't be driving if you're taking those. What's a, a bit grayer mm -hmm. are prescribed drugs, yeah. and there are some people who will be driving who will take prescribed drugs for things like epilepsy, mm -hmm. who are now going to have to check with their doctor, aren't they? Yeah, I, I would definitely endorse the, the recommendation to check with your GP if you're taking one of the legal drugs to check that the prescription is okay and that they're going to be under the limit. Although the, the law does allow for a defence when you're taking a legal substance, providing you're taking it in accordance with the GP's guidance and the prescription, that will afford somebody who's over the limit for that drug a defence. So, so that's something um, people should carry their prescriptions with them as well as going to seek guidance. But one of the biggest changes, I think, is the, the removal of the need to show impairment. That's one of the, the main ways that the legislation is going to increase the number of convictions, in my view. Because it won't be enough to say, well, I was okay, I felt fine. Um, the passive situation, you, you may be completely unaware of having um, a level of drug in your system but it's going to make no difference. If you've got a, a, an illegal substance in your system, how fine you felt will be completely irrelevant. Jeanette Miller, thank you very much.